Yo, you see this? What is it? Chris Paul did it again. Oh no. Uh, let me flip it. Ah. Like why? Why does he feel the need to do this? I mean, how much more space is he creating by hitting a guy in the nether region than, I don't know, a regular step back? I mean, I'm, I don't know. It, it, it looked like it could have been unintentional. Unintentional? What, he's got like a crotch magnet in his fist that when activated, it forces him to make direct contact with another man's nether regions? Like, come on, man. This is, of course it's intentional. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, uh, fool me, you can't fool me again. Well, Manu got hit the other day and it was unintentional. No, we but, wouldn't blame the guy for getting Manu. If you, if you're a one-time thing, that's the thing. The other thing I, I hate people on Twitter talking about, oh, it's because he's short and KD is tall. <laughs> it was bound to happen. Like, no, there are other short players in this league who have played against other tall players. They don't have the same kind of reputation. You know what I wonder? Mm. You think it spills over to other parts of his life? Like Black Friday shopping? Has, has Chris Paul ever gone Black Friday shopping and just like tapping people the whole way? I mean, we all know that intense dude that maybe sometimes... No, I, I got it. When you're getting off the plane, you know how like the seatbelt sign comes off and everybody gets up and rushes to get their bag and kind of move up to five paces or whatever? I bet you he's... <laughs> at least once, right? Like definitely, definitely. What do you, what do you think the Cliff Paul version of hitting a guy in that area would be? Yeah, Cliff, Cliff Paul, uh, you know, report you to the IRS. Cliff Paul, he probably, probably audit you or something. Cliff Paul would probably tell your mom. I wonder if he's gonna teach Kevin Love and those State Farm ads to do the same thing when he grows up. I learned it from you, Dad! I learned it from you! I don't think LeBron would like that very you know, much. Maybe it's a cry for help. You think CJ Paul's running around kindergarten hitting kids below the belt? Probably. Yeah. This guy's got to be stopped. We got to get Adam Silver on this. Somebody. It's a big transition for you going from player to coaching now? It's, it's an easier transition than I thought. Uh, it's definitely a lot of late nights watching film, uh, working over the offense with head coach Nate Oates. Uh, but it's a, it's a great experience to be able to, uh, to touch the young guys, help them um, not only academically but on the court. It's awesome. All right. Do you still get to watch NBA games? Yeah, yeah. I'm a huge uh, LeBron fan, uh, seeing Chef Curry doing his thing, right. uh, North Carolina. Oh, and, uh, you see what so Chris Paul did the other night? We tapped Kevin Durant in the right in the you know you know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. I, yeah, I thought we was gonna talk about my coaching career, but uh. Nah, so, bro, I'm I'm just saying. I just wanted.